All right, complete blood count CBC. Why do we order it? See if you're anemic, see if your blood's too thick, polycythemia. See if you have an infection, maybe you have inflammation, maybe your platelets are too low and you can't make a clot. Here's, here we go. So number one, we look at the top white blood cell count, WBC. In this case, this is my fake patient. Uh, it's normal in this case. Too low, we worry about things like maybe a viral infection, maybe even cancer. Or too high, we think bacterial infection or sometimes inflammation. So the next couple, the red blood cell, RBC, hemoglobin, hematocrit, three ways to kind of say the same thing, basically. How much red blood do you have? And in this example patient here right now, he's a male and he's a little bit anemic, a little bit low, 12.8. Now this scale says 13.5 on the low end, but really important for y'all to remember is that these scales change depending on the particular lab. So if you see something flag abnormal, don't freak out, give your doctor a chance to explain it to you. But let's play along here. So this 12.8 hemoglobin and 36 hematocrit, you notice it's almost times three, that's kind of the rule three that we have with that. Why is this low? I don't know. Well, let's take a look a little bit further. So the next thing we see is MCV, mean corpuscle volume, simplified version, but that's kind of like a height to weight ratio, a little bit like a BMI of your red blood cell. So a couple of things. In this case, this guy is high, 104. Our normal range is roughly 80 to 100. When it's above normal, we think of things like B12, folate deficiency, heavy drinking, on the other end of the spectrum, if it's too low below 80, we think like iron deficiency or chronic disease, like kidney disease and things like that. So in this one, it might clue us into what we're gonna find out later, okay? So he's anemic, we have the MCV is, is high on here. Let's go down a little bit, see if there's any more clues. We've got the rest of the remaining blood cells, size and shape is pretty normal. The platelets in this case are normal, that's your ability to make a clot. And now there's a little bit of a breakdown, a sample of a breakdown of the white blood cells. No, those would be off like lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils. For example, if you're having a bad allergic reaction or if you had seasonal allergies, sometimes we'll see the eosinophils elevated. So it's kind of a little behind the scenes info on that. But that's the complete blood count in general. All right.